are going to show what I've seen so far, the first video on YouTube for the Integra Quest 24L 2020. And I'm going to give you a quick tour around and some of the things that we're going to be doing to this unit. So you see it has the auto leveler jacks below, which is super nice. We're just draining some water out of there. And it is lacking in outside storage. So if you feel like you need a lot of outside storage, it may not be the one. Here is the propane gas, about 12 gallons, I believe. This is the one cabinet you get on this side of the unit because the bathroom is on this side of the unit. These two cabinets here are not available for storage. And it does have the quick connect gas for barbecuing. It has a curved door entry. Your batteries are here in the steps. It comes with the two 12 volt lead acid batteries where you have to require maintenance. So we will be switching those out. And when you come in, you will see it does come with the upgraded uh, marine floor. It's kind of a woven floor, very durable. The 2020 has the new Mercedes chassis which is awesome. You have the huge screen for navigation. You have lane assist. You have all the safety features. You can see down there on the left, you have where you can move the seats forward, backwards, up and down. It has the lumbar support, adjustments, heated seats, everything you would want. Our first drive with this was fantastic. Very, very easy, very controlled, had no problems. The bucket seats obviously turn around as most do. Has the over the head bed. We took the middle section out just so we had more room since we weren't using it for headroom and just openness. Since we don't have the outside storage like we did in our previous Class A, we just put our chairs up there at the top and when we get to the campsite we can go ahead and put those out front, no problem. It has a TV, which is over the door, and has the two burner uh, cooktop right here. Uh, one thing a little surprised about this is it is a gas cooktop, good size burners. But there's no electric start. You do have to use a little lighter to turn your, return your gas on and to light the burners. Which was really not that big of a deal. So that was okay. It does have the nice uh, big round sink. Which is nice. But if you wanted two square sinks, uh, you don't have that. We may change this out eventually. It has a nice cutting board to go on top of it. Um has here, we just threw some cutting boards behind the, the glass protection. Um, does not have a lot of bells and whistles for switches. So you do have your storage down here on each side. And your silverware drawer is in a strange place, but it works. We were a little like, uh, is that really where we want to put it? But yeah, it kind of worked okay. There is storage under the seat in the back, so we learned that. If you pick up the middle cushion, there's storage back there and around to the right. Um, it is upgraded so that you have the two, um, you know, you have the blinds, and then you also get the sunshade blind, which is nice. It has the European uh, style cabinets, very nice. Those part is good quality. Ours comes with the um, upgraded shades. We weren't quite sure how those worked uh, initially, but basically they will cover the whole front and the sides. They're very heavy duty and they just kind of push in place and uh, then you've got privacy as well as um, efficiency. 
with the sun or the cold. And if you come over here, you get the closet. Lots of uh, hanging closet room. Um, more than the leisure man that we were going to get. So it looks small, but it's definitely more than the others. They did, which was nice, put in the pantry. We've got some crackers here sticking out, but yeah. So you have the side pantry, which is nice. Again, uh, as far as the framework goes, it's very quality driven. It just doesn't have a lot of, like I said, bells and whistles when it comes to switches. Um, when you look at the thermostat, it's just a manual slide the temperature. There's no digital readout, so we will need to adjust for that. But we were looking for a leisure van, and it was out the door price about $55,000 more. So when we came to this, it was like, well, we've got the 2020 Mercedes Benz chassis. We've got the marine floor, same in the leisure van. We've got the nice countertop, um, convection oven. Good, more storage in the kitchen than the leisure van. Uh, of course, we're not quite organized yet, but at least give you an idea. We're having our cabinet, our brother-in-law is a cabinet maker, and he will be putting additional shelves in there. So easily done. And love the uh, horseshoe style booth. Uh, the table can turn either way. So we sit here like this. One on both sides, you can have it that way. Or if you've got people sitting all the way around, you can just turn it this way. So it works both ways. They are not Corian countertops. It is laminate, but it does make it lighter, so you don't have that extra weight. Refrigerator, it is the new uh, three-way refrigerators. So it has, it works on gas, works on electric, or works on battery when you're driving. Because now, as you know, when you're driving, you should be turning off your propane gas, and then it will automatically go to the battery. So that's kind of nice. And then you come up here. Here's your electrical uh, status and your tank status, your batteries, your fresh, your black, your gray, your water pump, electric heaters. Um, it has tank heaters, so if you're in a spot that you need getting cold and you want to have your tanks heated you can turn that on it has the slide exterior interior it's just one slide and it has its inverter button we'll talk about that more in a minute okay in the bathroom uh, it actually turned out to be a good size so we showered in here and what's kind of nice is they actually tell you which one is cold and which one is hot <laughs> sometimes when you're trying to conserve water and figure out which one it is it makes it a challenge um, the Leisure Man so has the wires that go across to keep your shampoo in there, so we'll be adding those. Um, has a great, good size medicine cabinet. So there's the medicine cabinet, very nice size. We're going to add an extra shelf up here, so we have a, a third shelf. And nice size sink. We've got counter space here to put stuff. Uh, down below, we're really not organized yet, but. You do have a nice open space, but we're actually having a, a shelf put in there as well. And they have this uh, kind of partitioned off where the uh, pipes are. So we're gonna put the shelf all the way straight back there. So there's a lot of additional things you can do, but when you look at a sticker of a price tag of a difference of $60,000, you can do quite a bit with a little bit extra add-ons. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this. This was the bedroom. It's a queen size bed, works out great. You don't have to, you can have it made up and you just, it just folds back when uh, the slide out comes in. So you just wanna make sure this upper part is folded back. Um, when you're parked and the slide out's out, you just turn it this way and it will cover the whole bed frame. But what was interesting about this one is the water tank is below the bed. So here's your large water tank. And your inverter, as you can see, is down here. It's only a thousand watt. We're having that changed out. 
Um, and then you have a lot of your electrical stuff all through here. Um, your transformer box is there. So we'll talk about that in a second, but that is uh, an, uh, an opportunity. In the bedroom, I'll just show you, you've got your two cabinets up front. Um, nice storage space. I'll just open it up so you've got you can put your clothes up there and then you also get this one cabinet on the side so you get uh, storage in there as well um, interesting it did not come with a TV in the bedroom so I had to hang that TV but kind of a good thing because I added a smart TV smart TV you don't need a lot of extras everything goes through the TV so you can see we added it here with a swivel swivel and then um, I put a hooks at the top there to strap it in when we're traveling. Um, air conditioning, everything worked great. Cooled it down, no problem. And we'll just stand from the back here so you can see how open it is. Yeah, so super nice. When you want a nice open space, especially if you have a pet or something, it definitely has that feel for it. So tomorrow we're bringing it to La Mesa RV in Davis. And I have ordered direct the Go Power Solar because it does not come on this unit. And we're going to be adding three large panels, not flex panels. They do not last as large, as long. And we're going to also uh, have a 3,000 watt inverter. Now, I didn't realize how big the inverter was for 3,000 watt, and it's going to be a challenge to have it in this spot. So, um,. Also, through my research, I've learned that your inverter should not be more than 10 feet from your batteries, which is over there by the steps. And if you measure that distance, it's really about 12 feet. So you have to have thicker wire if it's going to be um, that far. And they do have 8-gauge wire, so Integra tells me, which is pretty thick. So that still would probably be okay. But I think we're going to try to see if we can have the inverter uh, replaced with the 3,000 watt, which is quite big. It's 12 inches by 15 inches by 8 inches, so it's a good size. And we're going to actually put that in the cabinet out front that you saw by the stairs. And then that way everything is where it should be next to the batteries. Um, so if you want to know what happens with our installation with solar and the inverter, Please hit subscribe, and you will be able to uh, see what's coming up next. I will be videotaping that as to how the solar turned out. Um, I'll give you right now a quick walk around of the outside. Um, just so you saw the leveling is the Bigfoot leveling they provide here. Actually, it worked pretty good. You did not have to have the engine on, only the parking brake in place um, to start this. And the one thing I did end up having to do is to recalibrate it myself. It was not leveling level when we first tried it. And the directions are pretty easy on how you do that. And I can show another video on that uh, to see how simple it really is. It's just a couple buttons and it recalibrates. But you have to get it level as it's recalibrating. Recal so we'll go outside. And we have that cabinet there we have the propane here you can't open up these two as we thought uh, 5,000 pound towing capacity and here's the cabinet so you have this full cabinet here you can use for uh, well, we have wood in there right now here's our our uh, sewage lines but we're gonna actually add right below here this is the uh, black water, and to the right of that, we're going to put another tube, and that's going to hold our black water tubes. Here is your black and gray water manuals. As long as your water pump, uh, you have a light, and then they give you kind of this um, little legend to follow. They do have a hose that's pretty cool that you hook up to the uh, city water tank uh, valve here and you can easily get water siphoned in there by turning on the water pump if you're dry camping and having to add water. And then here is another 
um, storage. So we'll basically have two full storage compartments. We've learned only to take what we need. So I don't really need anything else beyond that. It does come with the propane uh, generator, 3600. We actually did not run that this weekend, probably should have, and I will go ahead and run it. But with the solar, we just plan on using it as a backup. Uh, what also is very nice is it comes with the stand bars instead of just the aluminum ones that you'd get in a regular Class C. So that's nice. And then walking around here is the protective coating on the front. Um, the one thing we did learn, I want to point out before I close this out, is when you turn off the engine, you have to either open the the driver's side door, or it does say if you hit the start and stop button here twice, it should shut off. But we had a hard time getting the engine to shut off. So the quick and easy answer was you push stop and then open the driver's side door and everything will shut off. Otherwise it keeps on the, you know, the normal battery run stuff until you do that. So it took a while to figure that out. Anyways, I hope this wasn't too jumbled. I'm just trying to get a quick one in there because I have not seen one on YouTube yet and I wanted to get one out there. So I'll probably do another one, but for sure I'm gonna do what happened with our solar setup and the inverter change out uh, come tomorrow or this week from La Mesa. All right, thanks a lot. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed looking at this and we're excited about it.